it was necessary. I'm not talking to little boys again. I'm talking to some grown men who are dealing with some serious issues in their lives. But God is preparing you, especially this weekend, to deal with it. And the best thing I did, especially with my uh, prayer of action, I had to have allies. Because you can't do it alone. You need allies. The best allies I had were my kids and other people, other support system. I was bringing in folks from church, my parents, people who knew me, business people, people who can vouch for my character. Allies who were standing in the gap and praying for me, with me. Allies who were willing to hey, say, hey, I'm going to tell the truth about this person. You need allies. And so with that prayer and with the action and recruiting people who can support you. And when we was in the group over there, I said, what I want you to do, I want you to get connected with other men that are here. Because nobody has a monopoly on pain and suffering and issues. You'll be surprised how many people are going through the same exact thing or who have gone through the same exact thing that can share wisdom with you, that can share communication with you to help you get through this stuff. But the biggest problem that men have, we don't like to ask for help. We don't like to be vulnerable. We don't like to look weak in front of others. But I'm gonna tell you this, six foot two, 330 pounds, it's time I was crying over the loss of my marriage. It was times I was crying over the loss of my children. Times I was crying over the loss of this, over the loss of that. And I couldn't do anything for myself and I needed help. And I got out the way of my own pride and said, hey, Lord, this is me. Help me. I don't care what I look like. I don't care who want to judge me. I don't care if people think I'm weak. I don't care. Lord, help me. Because this is my life. And I want it better. And I need help. So the one thing I have so much respect for with you guys here, and the stories I've been, been hearing, is the fact that you ain't scared to ask for help. And furthermore, you're not scared to help each other. And for that, I need for every man to get a stand up right now. And I need for you all to come forward, please. I need everybody to come forward, and I need everybody to get close. Because like I said, this is what a rope is a rope, gentlemen. Come on in. <laughs> Even in the back, I need you to come in. Now, if you got a man to your right, put your hand on his shoulder. Come on in. Now the reason why I do this, this symbolizes connection. This also symbolizes a brotherhood of trust, people you can rely on. Most of y'all walking here, you could have been strangers, but by the time you leave here, everybody gonna be brothers. I challenge you to connect with each other, just like you got your hand on, the, on your brother's shoulder. Connect with each other. Don't be afraid to talk to each other. What's going on with you, brother? How can I help? You'll be surprised what can happen. But I need for everybody to bow their heads one more time, because we're going to have the last part of this is the prayer of power. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Father. We humbly come to your throne of grace and mercy once again, as always, saying, thank you. Father, the men here, the brothers here, have all decided to say they want, they need, and they desire to be better. But Father, they also have said they want and need and desire to be strong for each other. Father, I ask that you empower every man here. For every brother that is touching the shoulder of another brother, pass along that power, that energy, 
that surges through us all. Because as we are connected, as we continue to grow, as we continue to foster our relationships and our connections and build allies to stand against this world and the adversities that we as men deal with every day, well, we are being torn down. We are being destroyed. We are being taken out of our families. Our businesses are being taken. Our homes are being taken. Our transportation are being taken. Our pride is being taken. But Father, we say thank you for the strength of strong brothers who stand with each other and encourage each other to continue to come to our church, to be empowered by our priest, to go through confession, through the prayer of humility, through the prayer of purpose, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Because Father, we cannot make it without you. But as we move forward, Father, as we continue, as we leave this conference, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that harder days are coming. But we know that we have the power source in you. And even if we have to stand alone, we know you will be right there with us. No matter what. We will stand by our beliefs, we will stand by our faith, and we will continue to be the men of God that you would have us be by hell or high war. Amen. We will continue to stand for ourselves, for our families, for our children, and for you. So, Father, one more time, we say thank you. Thank you. We love you. Love you. We, appreciate you. we appreciate you. And every man, open your eyes right now, because the prayer is not over. It's not over. I need you to turn to your brother and say, I love you. I love you. Amen. I love you. Hug your brother. Because we still in the prayer. Hug your brother. I love you, brother. And as you make it back to your seats, <laughs> as you make it back to your seats, because we're still in the prayer. We're still in the prayer. I love you, brother. Give me some more. Give me some more. Oh, you I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, you don't uh, you. I just like you. Thank you. Uh, Love you, man. We'll deal with that. <laughs> As we make it back to our seats. I want to say this. Because the prayer is still going. The prayer it's still going. I'm going to say it again, the prayer is still going. Because as we continue to fight, we need to constantly stay in prayer. For no weapon formed against us shall prosper. As we put on the whole armor of God. And I tell you from experience, on living and suffering, like I said, I'm a, I'm a very jovial person, and I believe in joy and smiling and laughing. But when you go through hell, you get, get wounds. And just like you fellas, I've been wounded, but I'm going to tell you this. Just like you, I have gotten so much from this men's conference. Starting on Thursday, when we was out there with the homeless, I was seeing brave men sacrifice and show love to others 
Strange is that they didn't even know people sleeping on the streets, smelling like urine and everything else, roaches crawling all over them. I remember those days. And it was people just like you who saw me and helped me. It was people just like them. And I could do nothing but cry and shed tears. Yep, I cried. But it felt so good to see brothers with true, genuine love in their hearts. And as we came in here last night to hear some of the conversations you guys were having with each other, the encouragement, because the priest cannot do it alone. It's going to take the lay people. It's going to take us. But to see the conversations that were had, real talk, real situations, real issues, real problems, but real brothers standing in the gap for each other. I saw brothers praying with each other, and I felt so good. Came in this morning. You know me, I'm energized with my YG Night Storm stuff. <laughs> but I get the energy from you and in our talks and just interacting. I was supposed to be here this weekend. Trust me, I think I got more out of this than anybody. I needed this more this weekend than anybody, and I'm one of the speakers, but sometimes I just allow God to do the work, and I be listening, wow, did I really say that? <laughs> That's not me. That's God speaking. And I listen to Father, and I get those nuggets of what I need. And I listen to you and I get those nuggets of what I need. So just because I'm a speaker up there, trust me, I am a participant. And I'm getting what I need as well. And I have been invigorated. I have been energized. I have been amplified because of you. So I want to tell you, God bless you, brothers. Thank you so much for the privilege to be here to speak with you and the privilege to get to know you. And thank you so much. And I know that's my time, but I will be here later on for questions, but trust me, man. I expect the morning day is over to hug every last one of you. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> to where I am by myself. I have had the love and support of black people, white people, Jews, Gentiles, and everything in between. Our God loves us all, and we are gonna love each other in the mighty name of Jesus.